हेलो वेलकम टू द सेशन ऑन कन्वर्जन ऑफ कॉन्टैक्स फ्री ग्रामर टू चॉम्स की नॉर्मल फॉर्म एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन द स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू कन्वर्ट अ कॉन्टैक्स फ्री ग्रामर टू चॉम्स की नॉर्मल फॉर्म लेट्स डिफाइन चॉम्स की नॉर्मल फॉर्म अ सी एफ जी इज इन चॉम्स की नॉर्मल फॉर्म If all productions are in the form a producing a x, here capital A is termin non terminal, small a is terminal, capital X is again non terminal. This means all productions are of the type non terminal producing non terminals preceding by terminals. every cfg with its associated language has an equivalent grammar in cnf chomsky normal form is a straight forward ways of improving a grammar without changing its resultant language now when we are converting grammar from cfg to cnf first we need to follow some steps in this first start with a grammar g which is in the form of v t p s that is non terminal terminal production and start symbol then eliminate useless variable that cannot become terminal then eliminate useless variable that cannot be reached eliminate null productions eliminate unit productions after this we can convert grammar into the chomsky normal form first we will see elimination of useless variables that cannot become terminals consider a grammar where a non terminal a produced by s is producing a terminal but non terminal b is not producing any terminal so see in this grammar s is producing a and b that are both are non terminal a is producing this is a terminal symbol but b is not producing not any a single symbol so in this grammar whatever the s is defining or s is producing b and that is not going to the terminal so b from the production s producing b is useless and it can be eliminated now next step is we need to check whether a grammar production contains non terminals which cannot be read or which cannot be reached while deriving the language now consider the following grammar here s is producing a a or b b a is producing a a a b is producing b b d is producing ab or ea and e is producing ac d now in this grammar a and b they are used in the starting symbol but we don't find any path to reach d and e so these are the symbols these are variables are nowhere used since they cannot be reached so the production of d and e can be eliminated now check for nullable a variable a in a cfg is defined as a nullable if production contains the production a producing null 
for eliminating null production we have to define new production that will be p1 then in this example we have to see if any nullable is present here a producing b b c d then next is b is producing null so here b is a nullable now which will lead to the values different values now here we are producing one more time a so we are rewriting wherever the b is there first we'll uh, keep this b is equal to null then our production will be b c d next b will be as a null so again we are getting b c d then both b we are keeping null so we are getting c d so totally we are kept wherever the b is and all combination of b's then we'll check this newly created production b c d b c d c d but b c d and b c d are duplicate productions so finally we'll remove that and our final production will be a producing b c d c d before going to unit production elimination cnf grammar must be first eliminate all null production then we can go to eliminate unit production now in this example we'll see we'll check is there any unit productions are there now here uh, in this grammar unit productions are there here single c b is defining or b is producing c c is producing d and then d is having some value but here c is not having any terminal values and it is a single production so directly we can put instead of c d here so whatever the newly grammar will be a first one s producing ab then a producing a then instead of c we are putting all where the d b is producing d and instead of c here now d is there and immediately it is going to the next production so here we are eliminating the unit production to summarize here we are seen just now that to convert the given grammar into chomsky normal form we followed following steps that is we started our grammar with the g in the format of v t p s then eliminated useless variable that cannot become terminal then eliminated useless variable that cannot be reached then eliminated null production eliminated unit production now in this production or in this grammar find out what is the unit productions are present so there are three unit production in the grammar b is defining c c is defining d and d is defining e so these are unit productions thank you